All right, so in the last one, we got our photo coming through, the one that we, oh, the back one isn't set up, the one that we clicked on, whatever one you clicked on in your profile. Now I want to, I'm actually going to spend this video working on this part right here. So getting the timestamp and then displaying the number of days ago that it was posted. So there's going to be a little bit of logic involved, so it might take the whole video, but I'm not sure. If there's time left, then I'm going to set up all the Firebase stuff because we're going to, of course, need to query the database to get the rest of the information. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new method here, and I'm going to call it, uh, it's going to return a string that's going to say you know, how many days ago it was. So it'll get, be get timestamp difference. And I'm calling it that because it's going to get the difference in the timestamp and the current time. So returns a string. So returns a string representing number of days ago that that post was made. And let's log it because I don't know, getting timestamp difference because why not? And so let's do string difference equals null and calendar, not calendar view, calendar C equals calendar dot get instance and that this is what we're going to use was it angry at me i i think i imported the wrong library let's i'm pretty sure that's the wrong one because i don't think the min is get okay so don't get the android icu util get the java util one there we go yeah it's pretty sure it wasn't um anyway so now simple date format sdf equals new simple date format and our format is year. I should actually save this in a separate file so I don't have to type it out every time, but that's what a smart man would do. So hour, hour, uh, minute, minute, and then second, second, and then the Z, and close that off. And our local, my local is Canada, and then our SDF dot uh, set time zone, time zone, time zone dot get time zone, and then in here we pass the time zone. And I showed you guys in a previous video. I know I did was that list of time zones. If you wanted it, just Google, um, Google uh, list of or Google Android list of time zones. If you Google that, you'll you'll go. You can find a GitHub page and it shows you all the different time zones. Uh, but I'm not going to look at it I've already looked it up in a previous video. So go date, today, and this probably the Java util one, not that SQL one. And then we go SDF dot, actually, do I even need this? No, I don't need this. This is unnecessary. So now we're going to do a try catch. And we want to do a parse exception because we're going to be parsing a date. And let's do parse exception. E, e dot get message, and then uh, if that is the case, then we're just going to set the difference to zero. So if there's anything wrong, if something happens, let's just set the difference to zero. So now we're going to create the the date. So actually, I do need to create a date up here, but I just don't need to um, instantiate it or anything. I can just go timestamp, just like that, and I can go timestamp equals sdf dot parse, and this is why we needed the parse exception. And now we need to get our photo timestamp, which I didn't declare. So let's go final string photo timestamp equals photo dot get. Should we just get timestamp? Or m photo m photo get timestamp get date created get date created. And then we're gonna go down here and pass the photo timestamp in here. And that's all great. Now let's get the difference difference. That's going to be string dot value of, and we need to get some math today. What did I call the thing today? Oh, I forgot to get my my date today, but I can just go c dot get time, and that will give me the date of today. And then we want to subtract the current timestamp uh, get time, and we're going to need a bunch of numbers here to actually convert this to the correct thing. So we want to do, because this, what this is going to do is it's going to return the number of milliseconds. So to get the number of seconds, we divide by a thousand because there's a thousand uh, milliseconds in a second. And then there's 60 minutes in an hour, or sorry, there's 60 seconds in a minute. And then there's 60 
uh, minutes in an hour, and there's 24 hours in a day. So that should give us the number of days. And I'm curious to see if that will come out correctly. I think it will. Uh, this is red. Why is this red? Operator subtract cannot be applied to a date. I think that it can. Oh, I know what I did. I didn't format it. That's why. So you have to go. You have to get get today, and then we format. We have to format both of them. So date today equals C dot get time, and then I have to go SDF dot format today to actually change it. And then down here I can go today get time. There we go. Okay, so a little mistake there. We got to make sure we create the date because what I was doing I was just I was just creating the date, which is a date object. But what we need to do is format it to our string format and then use get time to convert it to a long. So but what what get time will do is it will take the 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 time, the date format or the string and then convert it to a long. So just a whole bunch of numbers representing the number of a number of time and then that's also what we're going to do here obviously that enables us to be able to subtract them and then once we subtract them we'll we'll have a number representing the number of days they are apart and then we can return that number of days so we'll just go return difference so now what I want to do is I just want to create one more method here and I'm just going to say uh, set up I guess just set up widgets we'll call it and it's not going to take anything and I just want to set the timestamp so string timestamp difference. Why is this red? Oh, by the way, uh, timestamp. I can just call it timestamp diff, and that's just going to equal the difference that we that we set. So I can go get timestamp difference, and now that's going to be that number of days. And now let's set it. So I can go if timestamp difference uh, does not equal zero, then we know we got something. So if it doesn't equal zero, then we actually have something. And we can go timestamp set text to timestamp difference plus space and then days days ago. And if it's not, so if it's basically if there's if there's no difference, then what we want to do is go timestamp set text and just say today. And then it will say that it was posted today. And this is mad because it's if if you write strings like this in here, it's saying that uh, if like if we go and produce this to the App Store, automatically all everything in the string resources folder gets translated to the proper language. But if we hard code them in here, they don't. So that's what it's just telling telling us. So I'm not gonna do it. But if you can, if you're planning on producing a production app that you're gonna release all over the world, you definitely wanna add these to your strings folder like we usually do with all the strings and that way they'll automatically get converted to the proper language so you won't have to like go and type in different languages if you re release the app in different countries and one thing before we test is we need to just call the setup widgets method so let's just go in here and we can go setup widgets and that's it so now let's run it and see if our date is getting correctly set so we'll go to profile and these two images I posted one day ago, so it should say one day. It said today, so it's because it was posted less than 24 hours ago, so it says today. And then with this one, that one says 14 days ago, which is I think is correct. Let's check Firebase. That was here. Should be this one right here. So that was posted, uh, yes, 14 days ago. So that's good. Perfect. So everything is working as we expected. And in the next one, we're going to continue uh, populating these widgets with, with the correct data. Probably going to set up Firebase and then start querying the, the database to get the rest of the information. So I'll see you guys in the next video.